Rhonda will also star in a remake of the hit Patrick Swayze movie Roadhouse and another movie based on her autobiography. And if those projects aren't enough, a rematch with Holly Holm is also in the works, possibly taking place this summer in Las Vegas. Do you think Rhonda is hurting her chances to win a rematch because she continues to be a celebrity outside the ring? Yeah, mm. yeah it's, it's very interesting. And, and I think it's like four to six months that you Holly need to will mentally kick your and physically ass again. prepare yourself for a fight so that you are in the best condition. You ain't got and a motherfucking chance. if she doesn't chance. do that, I think that she will go down the path she went down last time because you're either a celebrity... That's right. Yeah. Movie star. That's right. <laughs> or you are an athlete. A celebrity person. do nothing big. Can't do both well. You can never do both well. Something will suffer. So unless she pulls herself away in time to mentally and physically prepare for the fight, she'll probably go home hiding her head again. Mm. She ain't she, got a chance in hell. She more about being a celebrity at this point. She ain't which is got an a okay chance. choice if she wants to host Saturday Night Live and go it's that path. It's easier on the knees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ronda Lousy right? again. This is, you know, I, I tend, for me, I'm a UFC fan, and I think the UFC tends to be easier on the fighters than boxing because it's mm -hmm. not just about getting hit in the head repeatedly until you pass out. It's more technical. But you, you can't do it forever. And she's probably got her eye on her next phase of her career because she can't do this forever. But I agree with you, Sharon. I think any athlete, and I'm not one. I mean, I was when I was younger, but not like that. I am just ran track. But it's more than being physical. It's the mental thing. And I think when you get rattled like she did in that fight, coming back from the mental defeat is going to be the hardest part of her training. And if she's spending her time thinking about her next movie and what she's going to be doing and who's taking pictures of her, she's not, she doesn't have her mind in this fight. Mm -hmm. And I, every time I see that photo, and I'm, I'm a huge Holly Holm fan, I think, man, I don't know how I could come back from that because that is an ass whooping. That's right. It would be haunting me in my dreams. Like, Ugh. <laughs> My problem with it is, even though you can't fight forever, you don't want to go out in your last fight you got Molly Wop like that. Yeah. <laughs> because that's what happened to uh, USC. Remember USC had that great team with Reggie Bush and uh, Matt Liner yeah. and all of them? And who did they, was Vince Young, mm -hmm. was playing for the Texas mm -hmm. Book of Horn, and they got beat by them because the Texas team focused on winning the game yeah. and USC had went Hollywood so what I'm telling the girl is get your life in order and put your eye on the prize you can always host Saturday Night Live she's a great fighter champion she's a great fighter and it'd be great to see her win again I, I just, just want to say like you did last time that's right as a Trojan you'll be an ass whipping right on Trojans <laughs> bye on face it, Holly Holm has got to be the greatest, I regard the greatest example of a champion that I've ever seen in my whole life. Every time that Rhonda Lousy beat somebody, did she go up and congratulate them? Did she hug them like a Holly, pardon me, Christmas Holly Holm did? Hell motherfucking no! She was bragging, hey, I beat this, this uh, person, this uh, tomato, what they call tomato can is somebody that uh, is not really a real fight or anything like that. But what did, what did Christmas Holly Holm do? She went up and she hugged her, but I can guarantee you, she broke Rhonda Lousy's fucking jaw. That was a baseball motherfucking hit. And I think next time, it's going to be a hell of a lot worse. And I think that's in Ronda Lousy's fucking the back of her mind and the front of her mind. I bet she has fucking nightmares about what, what she did. Christmas Holly Holm destroyed 
There wasn't nothing even fucking close in this uh, this match with uh, Christmas Holly Holm and Ronda Lousy. wasn't even fucking close. So uh, I just hope and pray that uh, Holly Holm, Christmas Holly Holm, will keep that championship for a long motherfucking time. Because if there's somebody who deserves it, it's her. And I hope that she makes hundreds of millions of dollars. I think only getting a million dollars for what she did and, and Ronda Lousy got five million? I think you ought to turn that around and switch it around and give uh, Christmas Holly Holm five million dollars and give the one that lost a million dollars. Anyway, I don't know anybody else. She's such, she's so incredible. She'll actually say that she cries, and yet she's tough as all get out. That fight with Annie Sophie Mathis. I can't remember the last time I've seen a fighter get beaten up as bad as she did, and she fucking stuck it out to the point that where she was fucking knocked through the fucking ropes, man. All I can say about uh, Christmas Holly Home is... I can't find enough words to compliment her, and I hope she keeps her championship belt for many, many, many years. That's all I can say.